Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. This is Forest Stories. I am the poet in the forest, a children's series that I pinned out in the 1990s. Now, none of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I talk about it so much that I thought maybe it's time that you get to know what has inspired me for 30 years. Thanks for being a part of the conversation. Welcome back to the forest. (laughs) Today, we're on Heartbreak Hill. Heartbreak because it is heartbreaking. So much history on this one hill that leads into the deeper forest that which I live within. We're nowhere near the lake or the stream. We're on Heartbreak Hill. I don't care how in shape you are or what bike you're riding. To get from the base of this hill all the way to the top is going to wreak havoc on your heart. It's a heartbreaker. So much so that in 2009, shortly after my heart attack at the age of 47, Heartbreak Hill became that one place that I needed to remaster. I knew that I needed to get my heart pumping in a better direction. And this is where I got my heart rate up, walk back down the hill, do it again. Go up the hill, go back down, do it again. It was time to strengthen everything so that my body could become healed and much stronger than what it was. But Heartbreak Hill is a place that's visited by so many other people, especially the skateboarders. It's paved Heartbreak Hill, but the forest is on both sides. The skateboarders come here and film themselves because the hill is so tall that they're allowed enough space to do their art. Heartbreak Hill. The winter months where we have to park our cars at the base of the hill because there's too much ice and snow for cars to get up it. Heartbreak Hill. Maybe one time in the past, before all these homes were built, somebody planted the name of this hill inside our future hearts. Maybe they fell in love and out of love at the top of this hill. And they knew in their moment of now that this would be a heartbreak hill. Their life was going to change because the love of their life was gone. Now, where do I pull that from? If you look up the history of Charlotte and this particular area, the owners of this land came here all the time to be at the lake, to play within the wild roses, and to eat the wild grapes. They would bring their girlfriends here. A lot of love. But what if, inside this forest, the top of Heartbreak Hill to which I stand right now, maybe something broke up. And in the tears, they said, I am broken today on this hill. It shall forever be remembered as Heartbreak Hill. Let it ring into the hearts of any poet, writer, or just listener, that this hill is a place that changes lives. I'm Errol. Thanks for being a part of the conversation.